Hello everyone, this is Paweł Paczkowski with Graphite Productions and today I will show you the third and last tutorial inspired by Doctor Strange trailer. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is, uh, to, is track this uh, X on the hand and um, click track motion and in track type switch it to raw. It's very important to do so. Now position the tracking point on the X and we want to make sure that we grab that point on the middle and we will place it somewhere on the hand where we're going to grab the sample with the stamp tool. Track it backwards. Now we'll run into a little problem here. Uh, since it's got blurry we're gonna have to do some work by hand so basically just go frame by frame and position the tracking point at the right spot uh, going back to the middle now and uh, track it forward and this seems this seems like it's gonna work all the way through yep Now, you see, we cannot apply it or edit the target because we pick raw as a track type. But, if you go to motion tracker tab, you will see that we have all the tracking, tracking data on the footage. Alright, so um, switch view, mo view to uh, none. And right now we want to paint over the X. Uh, it's blurry so it's not really an X. But, uh, grab a clone stamp, adjust your uh, size of the brush. Okay so alt click to grab the sample and try to get it roughly from the same spot where you position that middle point from the tracking point. Okay and simply paint over the X. Now we will parent the tracking, tracking data to our paint mark. So go paint, effect, paint, clone one, transform clone one, alt click on stopwatch of position of paint of the clone and parent it to feature center and track point one now go to stro stroke options clone position alt click and parent it to attach point so basically right now we made the stamp follow the X <laughs> alright so go to layer new solid uh, make it a square choose ellipse tool and double click on it this way will create a mask right on the middle and since we made the solid a square, the mask, the ellipse mask, is a perfect circle. Decrease the expansion of the mask a little bit. Duplicate the mask. And in this one, decrease the expansion even more. We're going to decrease it by 10 more. So the first one is negative 35, and this one will be negative 45. Also switch it to sub subtract. Easy way to create this uh, ring right on the middle. Duplicate the solid. Rename both. First one will be glow. The second, second one will be core. And we want to s uh, change the color of the glow. So change it to uh, gray. We want to change it to gray.
Okay, position core above glow. And we'll go to the mask settings to shrink the ring even more, make it thinner than the uh, glow ring. Basically, we created this white stripe right on the center of the gray strap. Feather it by two, not too much. Uh, do the same for the second mask. And right now we will go to glow and we'll feather both masks by five. Okay, once that is done, we'll type, we'll type um, <coughs> noise and we'll pick fractal noise. We'll drop it onto a glow layer. Fractal type, we'll switch it to max and we'll animate evolution. So go to the beginning of the clip, click on the stopwatch an evolution, keep it at zero, go to the end of the clip and increase evolution by 10. Now those settings are totally up to you. So what this does is creating this um, kind of um, flicker in our ring. Precompose. Or and glow, name it a circle. <laughs> and right now we will repeat all the steps we did for the circle, but instead of creating a circle, we create a square. So we want um, glow, we want core, and we will all the same settings that we use in circle in our square uh, layer. Okay. We also want to add the fractal noise on the glow of the square. So basically the same thing we just did, we're doing it again for the square. Pre-compose it, name it a square. Okay. Scale it down, <laughs> duplicate it, rename it uh, square two, square number two, doesn't really matter, and rotate it by 45 degrees. As you can see, we created this um, design over here. Duplicate circle twice, name term large, medium, and small. and scale each one down in order to create the design. And like I said before, this whole process is, uh, is up to you. Basically, uh, you can follow me, you can create your own design. It's totally up to you. You can duplicate the shapes multiple more times and rotate them this way, that way. You can animate the rotation. But right now we'll uh, worry about the text. So basically create any text. I choose a symbol as a font, I'm writing some nonsense there, and I want to apply the uh, polar coordinates effect into the text. Interpolation 100 and rec to polar as a type of, uh, okay, pre-compose it. Scale it down.
and apply the fractal noise as well. Play with the settings. The evolution it doesn't have to be the same as the as the previous, the circle and the square. Let's pick five in this case to round make it more random. Select all the layers, pre-compose them, name it a shield, and uh, switch the footage layer on. Uh, right now we're gonna use a VC Color Vibrance. It's a free plugin from uh, Video Copilot. We'll uh, pick a greenish, bluish color. And we will choose on under math alpha. Duplicate the layer, uh, add blur to one of the layers. Let's say 10. Duplicate the layer again. Uh, 50 it's all, totally up to you you can duplicate the whole design one more time and uh, uh, rotate it again by a few degrees to make it more complex to make more um. all right so as I said before we didn't really apply the tracking data and tunnel but that doesn't mean we cannot do it we will go to our settings for the track point one and we will parent that null null's position by alt clicking on the position for our null and parent it to attach point under truck point one in our footage. Now we'll position the design above the hand. We'll posi position it in desired location. And we'll parent the design to our null since the null contains all the tracking data now as well. So as you can see as you can see, the design follows the hand now, but there's a little problem where it stops following the hand. And this is simply because the X on the hand disappeared at certain point of our footage. So we'll basically uh, go to the position of the design, s click on the stopwatch, and, and we'll change the position for each frame by hand. Put the motion blur on. Now you can see that we switch the focus from the face of the actor to the hand. So we would like to switch the focus to, to, on, on our design as well. This way it will make it look more like it was there when the camera was rolling. So we'll apply camera lens blur to our design. We'll find this spot in the footage where the switch and focus occurs. And we'll set it to, let's say 10. We need to animate that. So uh, click on the stopwatch. Now we will go to the spot on the timeline where the focus is on the hand. Okay, right there we can see the switch and right now our hand is in focus and in blue radius we'll switch it to uh, zero at that moment. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like and comment and I'll see you soon.